So today I'm going to be showing you um, how to make an intro. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to have to go to YouTube. What you want to look up is this and you're just going to find a video that you like. So I'm just going to choose something color that I like. I'll look up the color. So let's do pink. Lots of choices. This might be cool. Oh, marble. Okay. So, say I like this, or I found it. I think I have another one on my desktop. So you're gonna get this. So we'll edit everything in iMovie in the next one. We're gonna be using iMovie. Next, you're wanna gonna go to Pink Monkey. Pink Monkey, I mean. And you wanna make it the size of a thumbnail. So. enter that and what you want to do is you want the white canvas so then you're just gonna go to text so then you're gonna pick out the font you want um actually if I go to mine this is the one I usually use if I can find it right here beauty and the beast so then I'm gonna add my text and we're just gonna oops So you're gonna type it and then you wanna make it like that. And then you wanna color it green because we're gonna be doing a green screen effect. And then if you want, this is what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna add these things too. Which that's just, um, instead of a bracket, it turns up like that, which is really cool. Then we might wanna make it a bit bigger just so it fits in the actual size bigger. So you're just gonna go, make it like that and I'm gonna make mine a bit bigger oh that might be is that too big I'm gonna make it a bit smaller so something like this and I don't know how to layer upon layer on layer so then we're gonna add something else here now you could add you don't even have to add a picture but so you could just do it like this and make your name huge if you want to add anything, you can. So I'm going to be adding, um, hamster, because we're going to probably just find a drawing. I'm going to do a pocket. I'm going to show you what to do if it's not transparent. Um, so this is not transparent. So I'm going to save image as a paw print. What you're going to do is you're going to go to this website, Luna Editor, it's an editor anyways, I'm not really, Luna Pick is I think what it is, yes, and you're going to upload that image, paw print, and now that you got your paw print, what you're going to do is go to file, or maybe edit, you're going to click transparent background and you tap where you want it to be transparent this is the way you want it then apply and then once you're done that you're gonna go to ah save image and you're gonna save it as png because you want it to be transparent um i'm gonna go here add your own And there's your paw print, so now you can edit it and do whatever you, I wonder if you can even, oh, you can even change the color. So I'm going to make mine also green, because if your image is like this, I guess you could do this. I've never tried this, but I feel like it will look pretty cool. Um, so we got a paw print and our name. Cool, okay. So... Now, I'm just going to take a screenshot of this. You do Command Shift 3 if you want to take a picture of the screen or 4 if you want to crop it. So now that you have that saved, um, 
I forgot. What you want to do with this footage is you want to have the link from the YouTube video and you want to go to You want to go to this site. I've used it. It worked great for me. And you're going to click MP4 because you're using a thing. And you just basically, I'm not going to download it, but you're going to enter the link because I have one. And convert, and then it will ask you to download it and so forth. So now that you have this, you're going to now go to iMovie. So then I'm going to drag everything in. Um, first, I'm going to get the... Um, video so now that i've got this here that's good but now you want to get your green screen so there you go and you're just going to make it as long as you want this thing's 20 seconds so i'm just going to drag it till 20 seconds and now that you have the image you want to crop it <clears throat> crop it to whatever size you want i'm just going to make it this size because i like it like that so there you go next what you're going to do is you see this little these two squares you're going to click this and you're going to go into this little option and you're going to click green slash blue screen and it's going to do that and I'll just show you real quickly what it does in general so it's going to move it around as you can see which looks super cool but what I'm going to do now and also I guess you could do this with any colored background not white but I preferred white so there you go and it will look like this now what we're going to do is we're going to make it shake and for that, I'm going to I'm going to cut this till about this is at eight seconds, so ten. I'm going to cut it here. Oh, sorry, I gotta select both to cut it. Split, and then we're going to delete delete these two. Wait. So now that we have this, we're going to um, cut it into point seconds. Oops. So you want to do this to the full. Um, option here and now that you have it very very long you're just gonna do it and you're gonna split it up um, yeah you're gonna split it up if you want the shaking effect if you like it the way it is and then you just have to add your audio but I'm gonna show you how I do the shaking on here I only know how to do shaking you can look up in iMovie how to do anything else and all you'd have to do is just edit this little thing you wouldn't even really have to bother with this but the only way to cut this is to select both. So I'm just going to take each second and cut it up. And then we're just going to cut it up in pieces. You basically want to do this until there's about like two seconds, three seconds. So where am I here? So you want to like, I'm going to split it here and that's it. Now this is going to seem like a lot of work, but then you might even want to split these. You don't have to. Actually, I wouldn't. But I made mine each three seconds. You could do them one second. I just don't feel like splitting them. And this is, or this is three, like three milliseconds. This is three seconds. So I think this should be good enough. If you really want to make it shorter, split it up one more time. So now what I'm going to do is this is basically where you have fun with it so you're gonna go to here and you're gonna click Ken Burns and what you want to do is you want to start it off with your image but I'm gonna actually switch it around so this is how it starts and then I'm gonna take the end I'm gonna make it the same size because it don't want to like mess up too much and then I know like the size scales and I'm gonna just put it in the corner here done which actually I should have clicked the check mark. And next what I'm going to do is take this again. And where did I go before? So I went in this corner. So then I'm going to go here. Ken Burns. Switch. Go to where I was and take the end. I'm going to crop it. And then I'm going to move it somewhere else. So like say I'll put it right here. And basically I'll um there's that and check mark and you're gonna go next one and you're just gonna keep repeating the process so this was in the corner here and then you're gonna take your end and same thing as you can see only by a few seconds it already looked cool like or it was already shaking a bit 
like as you saw it was moving here and you're just gonna do the same thing over and over again And then for the final part, once you've done all of that, you're going to take this and then it's just going to be a bit longer, but you want to like, so I had mine here in the end, you could make, I can make it go full if I wanted to. So like that, and here's what it will look like. just like kind of pauses so you might want to make this a bit longer because it's a straight boom and it changes you know and then the final thing you will add is audio I guess I could do this and then I'm gonna split it at the end Um, that is how you make, um, a QL intro, um, on iMovie. If you, if you can figure out how to do this on another editor, that'd be cool. Um, I will, again, link the original video. She wasn't very descriptive about it. I did figure out how to make one, but it wasn't very descriptive, and I'm like, let's try and make one in iMovie. If you like this video, a thumbs up, and subscribe for more random videos. <laughs>